Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be going over the explanation of the solution to remove all adjacent duplicates in a string 2. I'm going to first walk through an example and then go straight into the code. So it's important to note that we're talking about adjacent characters, so consecutive characters. So not just like, you know, any three E's, I'm going to delete it. It has to be consecutive. So we're going to use a stack. Oh. And our stack is going to take on the form character, comma, count. And I'm going to look at the top of the stack because I care about consecutive characters. So I declare a stack. It's currently empty. I see I go to the first character, D. Um, I look at the top of my stack. Well, my stack is empty. So I'm going to push in D and its count is 1. So I'm going to move forward. Uh, I look at the top of my stack and I see I don't see an E. So I'm going to push in E and the count is 1. So I move forward. I look at the top of my stack because I care about adjacent characters. So I see that um, I have an E, so I'm gonna increment count by one. So now count is two for E. Move forward. So then I look at the top of my stack again because I care about adjacent characters. So um, I see the count is two. I'm gonna increment that by one. And then now, well, K equals three, so when the count equals k, I want to pop it off my stack because I don't want my result string to have those consecutive characters. It, we don't want these three e's in our result string. So I'm going to pop this off my stack. Move forward. D. So D is now going to be 2. So remember, we deleted these three, right? So this is not, these three E's are not going to be in my result string. So now I have basically D, D is next to each other. So, okay. So I'm going to move forward. B. So I look at the top of my stack. It's not a B, so I'm going to push in B and its count will be one. Move forward. Look at the top of my stack increment the count, move forward. So C and its count is one, move forward, look at the top of my stack, increment the count, move forward, increment the count. Okay, so now C, um, so for the character C, the count is three, which equals K. So we're gonna pop this off our stack. So our result string is not going to have these three C's in it, which is exactly what we want. Um, so we're going to move forward B. So we're going to increment B's count to three because if I see these C3, oh, sorry, that was a tongue twister. These three C's are not going to be in our result string, right? So it kind of looks like this. So now we have three consecutive B's. So we have to pop that off our stack. So I'm going to pop this off my stack, move forward, D. D is now, um, I look at the top of my stack, and I have a D, and I'm going to increment D's count by 3. So now D equals the count is 3, right? So I need to pop it off my stack, because I don't want these three consecutive D's in my result string. Move forward, A, push in A. Count is one, move forward, and then I just look at the top of my stack and a, I increment the count of A. So my result string now is gonna be AA. So that's the general idea. So we always look at the top of our stack and if the top of the stack equals, um, the count at the top of the stack equals K, we're gonna pop it off our stack. So like this got popped off and then and these three C's got popped off and then we see that these three B's will get popped off then these three D's got popped off and that's why our result string will be AA. So that's the idea. So we're, the main idea is we're gonna use a stack and the stack is gonna have, take on the form, the character and its count. Okay, so I'm gonna declare a stack which will just be an empty array then I'm going to go through the string. 
Then I'm going to say current equals s of i, which is just the current character we're at. Um, and then peak will represent the top of the stack. So that would be stack dot length minus one. So now I'm going to write out the logic. So if the stack is empty or if uh, we look at the peak, so we look at the character at peak, so that would be peak of zero. If that does not equal the current character, we're going to uh, push uh, the current character with uh, a count of one. So we look at the top of the stack. Um, we look at the character. Uh, so that's peak of zero. It doesn't equal the current. We're going to push the current character um, with a count of one. So else. So else we have encountered adjacent uh, characters. So we need to um, increment the count by one. So peak of one will represent the count right over here. And we're going to increment that. Now we have to check, does the count equal K? If it does, we have to pop off the stack. So um, if peak of one equals K, stack dot pop. Okay, so we constructed our stack um, and now our stack has all the characters we need to construct our result. So we're going to declare results to being an empty string. And then I'm just going to uh, construct a, a result string using what's in the stack. So let character comma count of stack result plus equals character dot repeat count. And then return results. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to run this. Okay, so oh. the time complexity. Oh, ah, uh, caps lock. The time complexity will be O of n. So this will be done in linear time because it's going to go through the entire length of the string. And the space complexity will also be uh, linear, so O of n space, because as my input size increases, my space may increase with it as well. And that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope this.